Hello, how are you? My name is Brian Mtongo and this is Promtech Engineering. Please subscribe to our channel and be willing to study engineering made simple. Today we are going to study about the determination of the quantity of materials in concrete. And the materials we normally use in concrete include sand, ballast, cement, steel and water. But today we are going to determine how to calculate the uh, ratios or, or by volume of the materials to use whenever we are uh, casting our concrete. And we will not consider steel and water, but we will look at sand, ballast and cement. Before we go into that, we need to have an idea of the material densities of our materials. And the densities has are as highlighted here, where sand has a density of 1450 kilograms per meter cubic. Ballast has 1,500, that is greater than sand. Cement is more or less the same as sand, but slightly less by 10 kilograms per meter cubic. With steel and water, we normally also use them in concrete, but steel uh, is normally in reinforced concrete, and water is normally used whenever we are mixing. And the amount of water required depends on the workability, of uh, uh, the required mix and whenever we carry out a design mix then we can be able to get uh, the content of water we require and whenever steel always uh, takes a small percentage even in reinforced concrete therefore we will not uh, use it to determine the volumes in this case so we will uh, look at sand ballast and cement whenever we talk of concrete grids there are different grids and these grids have different ratios but uh, when, it, uh, for instance, we look at class 10 of concrete, that means that, that concrete uh, has the ability to achieve a characteristic compressive strength of 10 newtons per millimeter after 20 days, 28 days from casting. And these are the ratios of um, mixing of our materials. The materials include cement, sand, and ballast. Therefore, we will mix them in. A ratio of one to three to six the same as class 15 with 15 newtons per millimeter compressive strength achieved after 28 days uh, class 20 and uh, 25 also uh, have a characteristic compressive strength of 20 newtons per millimeter and 25 newtons per millimeter achieved after 28 days uh, class 30 of concrete and above we normally carry out a design mix uh, where we we determine the specific gravity of our aggregates and many other parameters to determine the ratios to use. Uh, therefore, class 30 and above concrete uh, mixes we normally carry out a mix design to carry out to, to obtain the ratios and volumes of the materials required. And uh, we will be doing this in our uh, future videos. Please uh, subscribe to our channel to learn more. So if we consider concrete class 25, this concrete has a compressive uh, strength of 25 newtons per millimeter at the end of 28 days from casting when concrete has gained almost 99 percent of its uh, compressive strength now i would like us to consider a meter cubic of concrete as shown in the figure uh, whenever we are casting concrete the wet volume is normally less than the dry volume of our materials because our materials, which include cement, sand, and ballast, have high voids. And whenever we introduce water in, a, in a, uh, our concrete mixes, then the volume, uh, the voids reduce as smaller particles take uh, cover those small voids. Therefore, uh, dry volume is normally supposed to be greater than the wet volume of our concrete. And the factor to use is 1.54. Uh, so that we, we are able to obtain the exact uh, meter cubic or dry uh, volume of our materials that we need as we design a uh, concrete of one meter cubic after casting. Uh, the first step is normally to determine the ratios and after determining the ratios we sum them up and in this case for class uh, 25 of concrete which we considered the ratios are 1 to 1 to 2 and whenever we add this, we are able to get a total ratio of 4. So the first thing to determine is cement. And the volume of cement required, we use the ratios. So we take a quarter because cement takes one part of 
this sum of four parts and we take a quarter we multiply by the dry volume to get the volume of cement required which is 0 0.385 meters cubic and whenever we have found the volume then we need to use the density to find the weight because cement is normally bought in bags so that we can determine how many bags to buy off the counter so the weight of cement is normally given by volume multiplied by its density and the volume we have already de determined as 0 0.385 we multiply by the density stated earlier which is 1440 and we are able to get 554.4 kilograms and uh, at the back of mind one cement bag uh, is normally equivalent to 50 kilograms therefore the number of cement bags required is we uh, divide by the weight of the cement divided by the weight of one bag of cement to get approximately 11 bags of cement so if you casting one meter cubic of concrete then you need 11 bags of cement in order to achieve class 25 of concrete secondly we move to sand uh, volume of sand uh, sand takes one part of the four parts in the total ratios that we summed up and we multiply they uh, actually have uh, occupy the same volume as cement in class 25 of concrete and we also use the density multiplied by volume to get the weight of our sand and when we do that the weight is 558.25 kilograms which we can change to tons and it, it, it becomes 0 0.558.25 tons so whenever you are casting one meter cubic of concrete you need uh, almost half a ton slightly past a half a ton of sand to be able to cast class 25 of concrete uh, lastly, we look at ballast. Ballast takes two parts of the total four parts ratios and we multiply this by uh, the dry volume that we already determined by multiplying the wet volume by a factor of uh, um, 1.54 and we will achieve a volume of 0 0.77 meters cubic. And because we know the density of ballast and we use the volume, we can be able to get the weight of our ballast. Therefore, the required ballast is 1,155 kilograms in order to cast class 25 of concrete uh, covering one meter cubic. Therefore, we need slightly above one ton of ballast to be able to cast one meter cubic of concrete. Uh, summarily, uh, class 25 of concrete, if we consider one meter cubic, then we need uh, the following cement is equals to 11 bags sand is 0 0.558 tons and ballast is equals to 1.2 tons therefore uh, consider this just get uh, because this is equivalent to one meter cubic of uh, concrete casting you can determine if you're casting class 25 of concrete you can determine the volume that you want to cast and then multiply by these values to get the exact um, bags of cement you need and the tonnage of sand and ballast you need for your project so thank you very much please uh, subscribe to this our youtube channel press the bell icon for notifications in the future and stay awake to learn more with Bromtech engineering thank you and may the good lord bless and keep you